Hey, this is Oren Zucker, and on behalf of Dan Eberts, welcome to the first official Monkey Bars tutorial. Monkey Bars is a fast and easy way to create complex text box animations. If you have any of our other monkeys, you know we hate doing anything that has a learning curve. So, most of these controls are pretty self-explanatory, and my suggestion is just to download the free trial version and play with it. It's very easy to figure out. But, if you want to take a few minutes, I'd be glad to walk you through it. The best place to start is the default settings. So I'll create a comp and click Do It. Monkey Bars just generated two lines of copy. The top one is 128 point white type on a yellow bar and a second line of black 90 point type on a white bar. There's 10 pixels in between them and the bars are expanded 20 pixels past their native setting, which is based on the size of the text. It's laid out flush left on the lower left corner of the screen. And as far as animation goes, it's transitioning in, set on the fastest speed, with a medium ease, and both text and boxes are starting at a random position. And there's a slight delay between the animating elements. If we click on a layer, it'll open up a pre-comp and we can unshy the layers. There's four basic components to each line of text. When you click Do It, a text layer and a solid box are created. Then it duplicates the solid box twice and uses them as stationary mats for the text and the main box. The box fill and the text are then moved based on the animation settings to their starting position and then resolved to their final position. And because they're being cut by these masks, the result is the text and the box are basically wiping on as they animate on in various ways. After the build, the text, box fill, and box mat are all parented to the master mat, which is also the text mat. Then they're locked and shied, leaving only the text mat visible in the timeline. This top layer is the master control layer for that line, which can be used to adjust transformations of the line. But because the layer is invisible, you can't just click on it in the comp window. You have to select it in the timeline if you want to change the position, size, rotation, or anchor point. If you want to tweak the position of the whole build, it can be done here in the final comp. Lastly, in the project window, you'll see that we've created a monkey bars folder to keep things clean. All the pre-builds will be placed in there. There's five basic sections. We'll start with the text in the box section. The main thing I want to point out is that these sections each have two settings. The top one in each section is the main setting and is automatically assigned to the text you set in the text box. Each section also has an alternate setting and using a few key commands you can assign lines or in some cases words in alternate color, size, or box. You can find these key commands either by hovering over the alternate settings or by clicking the star button at the top of the UI. You'll also find some more information and samples in the info box. Let's go through them. The tilde symbol means everything in that line will be alternate everything. A caret symbol assigns that line an alternate text size. Next up is the square brackets. Everything in between the brackets is the alternate text color. This is really useful if you want to highlight a word or two in a line. Lastly, there's the pipe key. This means that the box in this line will be assigned the alternate box color. Any of these keys can be used independently or in combination, but the square brackets are the only ones that can appear anywhere in a line. The rest have to be at the beginning of the line. Layout is pretty straightforward. The only thing you have to know is that if you choose one of the lower positions, it'll use the bottom of the lowest box to align to title safe and we'll use the top of the uppermost box for one of the upper positions. The animation section defines how the text and the boxes move. The transition dropdown controls the time remapping for the animation. Depending on what you've selected, it'll place a marker down at the beginning of the transition in, at the beginning of the transition out, or at the beginning of the transition in and out of the animation. The speed settings translate to fast, a half a second, medium, one second, and slow, two seconds. Most of the rest are pretty obvious. Movement is the interpolation method. Ease type controls when in the move the interpolation happens. Text and box direction dictate the direction the text and box move during the animation. And finally, there's delay, which will stagger the trigger point of both the lines of text and their boxes. The longer the delay, the longer the animation will take to complete. So that covers the basics of monkey bars. If you stuck around this long, congratulations. 
please send us some samples and suggestions. We'd love to see them. On behalf of Dan Eberts, I'm Oren Zucker. Thanks for watching.